everyone! It's me, Trish, the Purple Yarnivore! How are you today? Hello to all my returning subscribers and big hello to all my new subscribers! I hope that you enjoy my videos and stick around because I got some things to show you. I know. Like, I've been doing yarn haul videos lately because, well, I've been getting yarn. <laughs> I tried to go on a yarn ban. That didn't work. So I said, okay, I won't cut myself off. I'll have a little dessert. So I went on a yarn diet. Needless to say, my yarn stash is fattening up again. But the good thing is, is I'm using up a lot of my yarn stash too. So the first thing I want to show you is something I got like last month. I've been meaning to put it in a video and I keep forgetting. Um, I went on to Lovecraft because I got some Amigurumi books and I wanted to start doing Amigurumi. Um, I did the Mr. Purse a lot. Uh, but from Crystal at Chronically Crocheting, but that's the only amigurumi I've like literally ever done. And I wanted to kind of get into it because like my daughter likes stuff like that. So I want to be able to do some stuff for her. So my friend Betsy, M-E, my hook and I, she is an affiliate of Lovecrafts and I will leave her affiliate link in the description box below because she does get some benefit. She honestly does get some benefit from, um, from people buying yarn on Lovecrafts through her affiliate link, and she should. I mean, it does help out. Maybe not a whole lot, but it does help somebody out, and she's my friend, and I'm all about support. <laughs> Girl power. <laughs> And so I did. I bought a bunch of cotton yarn and I did get a lot of it because they had like some like palette sets or whatever. So I got like three of them and I thought they'd all like each palette set would like come packaged individually. Like this is the one palette. This is the other palette. But they just kind of put it all together, of course, in these cool, you know, mesh bag things. Um, but they're all mixed up together. The DK was, is mixed up with the Aaron and all the colors. Of, so I, I just didn't divide it all out. So I'm just going to show you. I got some neutral colors. Some of the palettes have the same colors. So I got this bag here. I like the mesh bag though. <laughs> so I got this bag you can pretty much see all the colors through the bag. And then I got this one, which is like a bunch of like rainbow colors. You can see it all through the bag too. Look, look at look at the purple and the pinkish purples. And, the, and it's got some greens and stuff. So this here is the accumulation of three different like color palettes. And some of them had the same colors in them, but I didn't care because they were, you know, even if they had the same colors, they were different weights. <laughs> and so I'm like, I'm going to make some amigurumi with this. I better have plenty of cotton. So I know you could do amigurumi with acrylic too, but I needed cotton anyway because it's summer, summer, summer time. Almost, almost, or maybe that's just wishful thinking. Is it spring yet? Is it technically spring yet? Weather tells me, yes, it's spring. <laughs> it's above 50 degrees during the day. To me, we've hit spring. Nature will tell me it's spring before the weatherman. That's just my opinion. Anyway, so I got these. And remember, it's I got these through the affiliate link. That I have used twice now from Betsy at M E my hook and I <laughs> I will link her channel in the description box she is so freaking cute let me tell you she is so cute and her laugh is like contagious if she laughs it just makes you laugh you know it's like that 
empathic, you know, thing, you know, it's, it's just, she's so cute. You know, the way she starts out her videos, hello, friends, you know, because she's from the South. I just love her. Anyway, so I got these, and um, I don't have an amigurumi to show yet. I, I tried to make something, and it did not turn out well, so I have nothing to show except, like, a really poorly constructed head and I'm not going to do that to you guys so <laughs> I just had to bring that up with the love crafts I know I got a while ago and I'm like should I even bother like yes because I told Betsy I'd share her affiliate link and love crafts is awesome everyone loves love crafts they have really good deals on yarn that's the same place I got my Malabrego yarn. Yes, I used her affiliate link for the Malabrego too. <laughs> anyway, next, was it yesterday or day before? Because Ross is such a bad influence on me. He is a yarn enabler. And if you watch yar Ross, that smells great guy, you know it too, okay? And his one of his favorite companies is Trilogy Yarns. <laughs> so, I had, he has um, in his video in the description box, he has like a coupon code that you can use. And so, I went on there and I ordered, and I think this, was being discontinued or was already on sale or something. But I got me the Razzle Dazzle Trilogy Yarns, the color Titan. So it's got, I don't know if you can see, but it's got the Stellina in it. Look at that sparkle. And this is the colorway Titan. Now I'm going to take the collar off and pull it out and show you. So this is Titan. I don't know how well you can see. The lighting isn't the best in here right now. But this is what it looks like. Sparkle Razzle Dazzle. It's the Razzle Dazzle base. And this is what it looks like. I got two of these. I got two of these. So let me finish winding this up. I can't do it as well as they did at Trilogy, but I just want you guys to know I love Ross. Like I have no ill will towards him. <laughs> I watch every single video that pops up that he puts out. Um, anyway, this is 70% Superwash Merino, 20% nylon, and 10% Stellina, 402 yards, 100 grams of fingering weight. So I might make me a shawl with this. <laughs> It'll be so pretty. I don't know. I've been debating. Should I make a shawl or should I put it in a giveaway? I don't know. I, I don't know. What should I do? <laughs> It is really nice yarn. Okay. So that is the Trilogy yarns I got. Super pretty. You can see it all hanged up. See how it's got like different colors in it. And it's sparkly and it's got the red. It's really pretty. <laughs> Next, today, I got in the mail... I'm sorry if I seem a little stuffy, but like the past week, my allergies, my allergies have just hit me over with a sledgehammer, just like came on full force. Like, what did I do to you? I don't know. Oh. One other thing I want to show you guys just to show you because it's already taken, but I'll get to that in a moment. So I love dyeing yarn. It's just so fun. I know I've said that before. It's just a way for me to like 
play with colors and be really creative. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, I got some more acid dyes. Um, I still have yarn in my Etsy shop, so check it out. Um, it's there. It's there. And I, I'm going to hopefully order more yarn base this weekend when I get paid. Um, because I got some new acid dyes and they're going to be like kind of springy summery colors. And I'm so excited to use them. <laughs> I know like things I love when I get things I love. I'm like a kid in a candy store and I just have like so much enthusiasm. I can't help it. <laughs> I don't want to be the person going, I really love this. Yeah, it's great. Like always been like a very emotional and expressive person so like who cares that I'm jumping up and down at 46 years old like <laughs> sorry not sorry uh anyway so I went on Dharma Dharma is like one of my favorite places to buy dyes um so I got five different colors I got pink orchid and I think that's going to be really super pretty. And I got... <laughs> oh, their black tape is coming off this. Um, I got the color Duckling, which actually is like a really cool, beautiful, springy yellow. And then I got Amethyst. And I got... Emerald green. And I got bright aqua. So hopefully in a couple weeks, I'll be doing some yarn dyeing and getting it in my Etsy shop. It's going to be so Fun. It is, it like exhausts me to dye yarn and it takes me all day. But I look at the finished products and I'm like, oh, you know, like the angels are singing and I'm like just so high off the beauty of it. So, and just that, wow, I did that. It's so cool. <laughs> anyway, the last thing I wanted to show you is I quit knit crate. I'm still waiting for my March knit crate. Um, March is supposed to be my last month. I got my sock, sock crate from uh, in for March, which it's just the brown color. It's it's nothing to jump over. You know, and, and, and that's nothing. Maybe some people really like the brown colors, but I opened it up and my daughter was like, it looks like poop, mom. And I'm like, thank you, Halo. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm still waiting for my membership for March. And so I, um, March is my last month for Knit Crate. But I do... Since I watch Ross a lot. And he's been ordering the Mary Maxim knit, knit subscription for like years now. Um, Overall, he's been really satisfied with it. And it's just like any subscription box. You're not going to jump for joy over it every single month. But overall, the overall happiness with it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Allergies. I took a pill, but still. <laughs> um, you know, like you get it for 12 months and you have two bad months. It's it's overall, you know, it's an accumulation of, you know. And so he's he's been happy with it for like years. And I'm like, well, I gave up Nick Crate. So I'm going to try a different one. Uh, and I, I was watching Ross and I'm like, you know, if he's been happy all these months, all these years of getting it, I'm going to try it because I've never tried the Mary Maxim. 
um, subscription. So I got the crochet one because I do knit a little, but not enough to get the knit subscription monthly thing kit. So I did, I got the crochet one and this here is the pattern, the spring evening wrap. Um, sorry, the camera's moving, but my cat, my cat just like, I'm like trying to hold it cause my cat's like trying to brush up against it. And I'm like, Oh no, you don't. <laughs> So it comes the Mary Maxim kit for the month of this is the the April club. Okay, so this is the April one. The spring evening wrap is the pattern. And um this month, the April, it came with I've never tried this yarn either. I've ordered a lot of Mary Maxim and all different yarns, but I haven't tried this one. And it and it comes with the Mary Maxim Best Value, which it's really actually soft and nice. No issues with it. It's very nice. And the Best Value is three ninety nine on the Mary Maxim website, and it's three hundred and forty two yards, one hundred percent acrylic. Machine washable and dryable, and it's made in India, which is all good by me. And this is the color leaf. So I got this one, and now the really cool one. The really cool one is Noro Nishiki. Noro Nishiki. This is the other skein I got in my April Mary Maxim Club kit thing. And this is what the colors look like. It's kind of a neutralish color. It doesn't give the color name. And if it does, it's in Japanese and I don't know what it says. So, but this is 77% cotton, 23% polyamide. Um, Mary Maxim has it as a five weight yarn. Um, but they sell this also at Lovecrafts for $17.95. Um, dang it, I had the paper. Do I have the paper? I'm reaching. No, not that one. Did I put it in my bag? Okay, give me just a moment to search through this bottomless pit that I call a purse. I thought I put it in here. Okay, maybe not in there. Okay, not in there either. Okay, well, I had information. But anyway, oh, is that it? Is that it? Is that it? There it is. Okay. <laughs> so the Noro. The Noro Nishiki on Lovecrafts right now, it's $17.95. Um, it is classified as a DK on Lovecrafts. It, in my pattern... It's classified as a five bulky. And then on webs, um, yarn.com, it's classified as a worsted. So depending on, um, it's kind of like a roving cotton, if that makes any sense. These are all like really neutral colors. It's really pretty, but I've never owned a Noro yarn before. And I like saying it, Noro Nishiki, Noro Nishiki, the world of nature made in Japan. Anyway, um, on webs, it's normally $17.95, but right now they're having a closeout on the Noro Nishiki for $9.99. And it's like 200, it's 262 yards. So it's a good, it's a good amount of yardage. Um, but regularly, this is $17.95 a skein. So $17.95, so let's just round up to $18 bucks and $3.99, so we'll round up to $4. So $18 and $4 is, what, 
So that's $22 in yarn right here, just in the yarn. Now, I tried to hunt down the pattern on the Mary Maxim website. I cannot find the pattern. I just did a random, like, Google search. I cannot find the pattern. So I don't know what monetary value to give this pattern, but I would say probably, like, $3. So $20, $25, it's a good deal. I got a good deal on this because I only paid... Well, it's my first month. So the first month is $9.99 and then it's $7.95 shipping and handling. Um, hold on one moment. My phone's about to die. Okay, we are back. So anyway, normally it's $14.99 a month plus $7.95 shipping and handling. So $15 plus $8 is what? $23. So it's right about... This is $22 worth of yarn. So, um, yeah, it's a good deal. I saved a few dollars. I saved a few dollars. And I'm really going to make this spring evening wrap. Isn't it pretty? I'm just going to show you the picture. It kind of looks like V-stitches all the way. And I'm like, I'm thinking that's just a V-stitch. But then I started reading the instructions. And I'm like, okay, it has V-stitches, but it's not necessarily all these stitches, but it'll be fun. It'll be fun to make. I got some other things in the works right now, but I will be getting to this soon. It's going to be so fun. So I'm not an affiliate of any of the companies that I have mentioned in this video. Um, not, I'm not sponsored by anyone. YouTube doesn't sponsor this. Um, I just like showing off what I bought with my own money. And one more thing. <laughs> I do have a work in progress, a whip. Um, I am doing a blanket. Oh, hello. There, he, he went and done it. He went and done it. Okay. Are we good? We had a little earthquake, but we're all good. <laughs> Zevo. Meow. Okay. So I'm doing this. I Like I said, I'm trying to use up a lot of yarn. So the yarn I am trying to use up is Karen Big Cakes. I had like four or five of these. And this is the color Tiramisu, which I think no longer is. I think it's discontinued. I'm sure there's some places you can probably get it at, but I think for the most part, it's discontinued. Anyway, so I'm going to show you this work I have in progress right now. I work on it now and then. Um, and this is what it looks like. This is not my pattern. This is a pattern I got out of a book that I bought. I got um, a little stack of crochet books. Um from that I bought off someone on Facebook Marketplace. But this is basically what it looks like. It's like a little uh, afghan. And it's so easy. It's super easy to make. Um, so yeah, this is a work in progress for me. Um, I have another one that I kind of just started, but I'm not going to show it yet. And that's pretty much it. So, yeah, that's everything that I wanted to show you today. Go out and get your Trilogy yarns, your Ravenswood fiber yarns that I have in a previous video that is labeled as such. And... That is my Mary Maxim monthly club. I love it. I like it. I never had Noro yarn in my whole life. And it seems to be like a favorite for a lot of people. So I'm excited to use it. Anyway, <laughs> that is it for today. Thank you for sticking around. If you made it to the end, sorry for the earthquake. <laughs> Um, please take care of yourself.
be good to others, show caring and compassion. Remember that everyone's everybody matters, okay, regardless, and uh, do random acts of kindness, take care of each other, and we'll see you in the next video. I'm back. I'm sorry. I forgot. I forgot to tell you guys. I'm getting a lot of supplies in probably tomorrow or the next day to make charms. I'm getting a whole bunch of new stitch markers in my Etsy shop. Oh my God. And I am like so super ecstatic, enthusiastic because they are super cute. Now I'm not one to make really dangly stitch markers. They get caught and snagged in work or or accidentally crocheted into work and it's just not my style to make dangly heavily beaded you know stitch markers not that there's anything wrong with that okay but i'm one who just likes a cute little stitch marker um that I can hang from my work that isn't going to be a big issue. That is something that is usable, not just look pretty on a, a bracelet ring, you know. So I got some uh, charms today. Uh, these are already taken. I'm sorry for that. But they are, um, I keep wanting to say Sleeping Beauty. Like Bell and um, anyway, so there is this one. These are come five in a set, and then why I can't think of it right now, you know, Beauty and the Beast. Thank you. There's the candlestick. Here's Beauty and the Beast when he's like a handsome fellow and no longer a beast. And then, oh, it's a teapot. Oh, turn around. Show your face. How dare you? There. <laughs> There's a teapot. And it's with the baby teapot, too, by the way. I don't know if you can see that. And then, look. So this is my Beauty and the Beast set. I only have one. I only have one set right now that I ordered for somebody who's already going to buy it. I'm sure of it. Um... But this is just an example of the different stitch markers I'm going to have in my Etsy shop soon. So please favorite my shop. Okay, check it out. Keep an eye on it because you know what? New stuff is coming soon. And it is super califragilisticexpialidocious. Anyway, I'm done now. We'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>